before Mass begins, where it is customary that the server helps the priest vest, either server lays out the sacred vestments that the priest will use to celebrate the Holy Mass. The vestments are laid out in the reverse order in which they are worn. First, the chasuble is laid out and folded open for accessibility. However, avoid folding or bending any cloth made of gold, as this could damage the vestment. Lay the tie straps in a zigzag design. Next, the stole is laid on top of the chasuble in the form of an H. This is followed by the manipole in the form of an I. Next, the cincture is unraveled and placed in the shape of the letter S on top of the manipole. Although commonly found, yellow and black cinctures are forbidden. Place the alb on top, fold back the sleeves, then bring up and open the base. Next, the amice is unfolded and laid seam side down. Each corner is folded inward symmetrically. And the tie straps are zigzagged over the ends. Finally, on top of this, place the chalice veil, the burse, and the beretta. The priest touches the amice to his head, saying a vesting prayer. He then places it on his shoulders and ties it. He then puts on the alb. Here, you should assist as needed. After this, retrieve the cincture, and from behind, place it in the priest's awaiting hands. Pick up the manipole and kiss it, but not on the cross. Then present it to the priest for him to kiss on the cross. You may have to assist the priest tying or pinning the manipole. Pick up the stole and kiss it, but again, not on the cross. The priest places the stole over his head Assist him from behind and adjust as necessary. Finally, fold the chasuble all the way up to the neck for the priest to then pick up and place over his head. If the chasuble is made of any metal, do not fold it open. Hold the chasuble back if the priest needs to tie the strings. To prepare the altar for Mass, either server lights the two low Mass candles. When lighting candles, you may use the front steps, but in some places it is customary to use the side steps. The first candle to be lit is the Epistle side candle. Descend down the steps, genuflect, and proceed to the other side. If there are relics on the altar, they must be removed or covered for a low mass. To cover a relic, simply place the relic cover in front of the relic. Now is a good time to go over the different kinds of bowing. There are three kinds, a simple head bow, a medium bow, and a profound bow. We're now ready to process out. Although rarely practiced, the procession out at low mass begins with blessing yourself with holy water. When the priest gives you the signal, either server dips his finger in holy water. Distribute the holy water to the other server, who does likewise to the priest. Make the sign of the cross with the priest. Where this is practiced, the priest will say the words, Adjutorium nostrum in nomine domini.
to which you respond, Qui fecit celum et terum. This part of the procession is omitted if the asparagus takes place before Mass. Ring the bell at the sanctuary door to alert the congregation. Altar servers enter side by side in front of the priest, hands to their chest, palms together. If there is only one server for Mass, enter in front or in front and to the right of the priest. The priest will remove and hand the beretta to altar server one. Grasp it with your index and third finger. Genuflect with the priest. Then assist his ascent to the altar by lifting the alb up over his feet. Altar server one can now place the beretta on the sedilia. Then wait at the bottom step of the altar for the priest to return. there is only one server for Mass, stand on the Epistle side of the altar. The reason you stay on the Epistle side is 1. So that you do not waste time genuflecting behind the priest, and 2. So that you are in position to help the priest ascend the altar steps after the prayers at the foot of the altar. When the priest ascends the altar, he steps first with his right foot. When the priest genuflects or bows, kneel down on the floor. Both altar servers should enunciate the prayers and responses together. However, for clarity of pronunciation, only one altar server is mic'd for this training video. When making the sign of the cross, notice the left hand rests just below the chest. Sancti Amen. Introibo ad altare Dei. Ad Deum qualificat juventutum meum. Judicame Deus et discerne causa meum de gente non sancta, ab homine iniquo et deloso et rui me. Quia tu est Deus, forti tu domea, quari me repolisti, et quari tristis in cedo, dum affligident me inimicus. Metulucem tuum et veritatem tuum, ipse me deduxerunt et deduxerunt in montem sanctum tuum et in tabernacula tua. Et in triabo ad alitari Dei, ad Deum quilitifica juventutum meum. Confitebar tibi in cithra Deus Deus meus, quare tristis es anima mea, et quare tenturbas mea. Spera in Deum, quodi mater confitibo eli, salutari voltus mei, et Deus meus. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritus Sancto. Sicu et ere ten principio nuc in sempre et in secula seculorum. Amen. Introibo ad altare Dei, ad Deum calitifica juventutum meum, agitorium nostrum in nomine Domini, qui fituceram et terum. The priest now says his confidior. Beata Maria semper virgini, beata Micara Arcangelo, beata Iona Baptiste, Sanctus Apostolos Petra et Paulo, omnibus Sanctis et Vobis Fratres, qui becavinimis cogitatione verbo et opere, mea copa, mea copa, mea maxima copa. Ido precord Beata Mariam Semper Virginum, Beata Micara Archangelum, Beata Iona Baptistam, Sanctus Apostolos Petrum et Paulum. After the priest finishes his confidior, your response is said while slightly bowing towards the priest. In some places, it may be customary to bow at 90 degrees here. Misereator tui, omnipotens Deus, et demisis picates tuis, producate ad vitam alternam. Amen. For your confidior, bow straight towards the altar. Again, in some places, a profound bow is customary here. Confitior Deo, Omnipotenti, Beatemi Semprevergini, Beatemi Killer Arcangelo, Beatemi Battiste, Sanctis Apostolis Petro Palo, Omnibus Sanctus et Tipi Pater, Quia Vicabi Nimis Cogitazione Verba del Pre, Miracopa, Miracopa, Miramax, Miracopa, Idio Precor, Beatemi Semprevergium, Beatemi Killer Arcangelo, Beatemi Uni Battistam, Sanctus Apostolos Peter Lapalum, Omnis Sanctos, et Dei Pater, Uraire Prime Adominum Deum Nostrum. Miseriatur Vestri Omnipotens Deus, et demissis peccatis vestris, peducat vos vita maternum. Amen. Rise from your bow, and make the sign of the cross in unison with the priest, as he says, Indulgentiam absolutionum et remissionum peccatorum nostrum, trubo et nobis omnipotens et misericordis Dominus. Amen. Deus tu conversus vivi cabis nos. Et plebs tua, let te bitur in te. Ostendi nobis Domine misericordium tuum. Et salutare tuum da nobis. Domine exaudia ratione mea. Et clamor meus a te veniat. Dominus obiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Oremus. 
Again, assist the priest in his ascent to the altar. Rise, come to the center and genuflect. Then go to the outside corners and kneel on the first step. If there is only one altar server, genuflect at the center and move to the gospel side of the altar. Notice, this is the opposite side that the book is on. The priest now reads the introit. Here, make the sign of the cross with the priest. Quoniam unifus et pauperosorum meum, et dimite omnia peccata mea, Deus meus. Respond to the Kyrie. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. The priest now prays the Gloria, Gloria remain kneeling. Et in terra pax hominibus, bono voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, et exter in patris miserere nobis. Quonium tu solus sanctus. At the end of the Gloria, make the sign of the cross in unison with the priest. Cum sancto spiritu, in Gloria de patris. Amen. Dominus obiscum. Ecum spiritu tuo. The priest now reads the collect. Oremus. Protector in te sperantium Deus, sine quo nihil es vat. There may be more than one prayer here, so listen for the words, per omnia secula seculorum. We take vivit et regnat in unitatis spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. The priest now reads the epistle. Lexio Epistoli Beati Petri Apostoli. When the priest is done reading the epistle, he places his left hand on the altar. This is your cue to respond. Deo gratias. Rise, come together, and genuflect. Altar server two remains standing while altar server one approaches and waits at the epistle side steps. As the priest moves to the center, ascend up the steps and take the missile and stand. Descend down the front steps, turn and genuflect, then ascend up the steps to the gospel side of the altar. Place the missile and stand towards the corner. Descend one side step, turn to your right, and face the altar. Dominus Fubiscum. Ecum spiritu tuo. Cross your forehead, lips, and hearts, saying, Gloria tibi Domine. Bow at the name of our Lord. Or after a few seconds, if the name is not mentioned in the gospel, descend down the side steps. Genuflect. Return to the corner and face the gospel. If there is only one server for Mass, you now stand on the epistle side of the altar, opposite the book. When the priest picks up the book, say, Laus to be Christe. Turn forward towards the altar. If the priest is going to have a sermon, come together and wait for the priest to come down. If the priest preaches with his beretta, retrieve it now. Genuflect in unison with the priest. Then, if space permits, turn inwards together and walk towards your seat. When reaching your seat, sit down together. The priest reads the epistle and gospel in the vernacular and then preaches his homily. At the end of the homily, make the sign of the cross with the priest. In the name of the Father, Rise and join the priest at the steps. Genuflect, assist the priest up the stairs, and go to the corners. The priest may need help with the maniple if it needs to be pinned or tied. The priest now prays the credo. Stand or kneel according to the local custom. Credo in unum deum. When the priest begins the credo, bow at the words deum. Bow again at Jesum Christum. Christum, Filium Dei Unigenitum, et ex patre nantum antiomnia secula, 
Deum de Deo, lumen de lumine, Deum vero de Deo vero. Genitum non factum, consubstantialem patri, perquem omnia facta sunt. Qui propter nos homines et propter nostrum salutem, de scendit de celis. Et incarnatus Here, est, genuflex on the floor, ex Maria Virginia, and here et bow. Factus est. Crucifixus et siam pro nobis, su pansio palato, passus et sepultus est. Et resurrexit tertia die, secundum scripturas, et ascendit in celum, sedet ad exterum patris, et interum venturus es cum gloria, judicari vivus et mortuos, cuius regni non erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patre filio que procedit, qui cum patre et filio simulado rator, et clang glorificator, qui locutus es pre prophetas. At the conclusion of the credo, make the sign of the cross in unison with the priest, then kneel down on the first step. At expecto resurrection on mortuorum, at vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus fobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Oremus. Rise, move to the center, and genuflect. If there is only one server, since you are on the epistle side and will not cross the center of the altar, you can rise and go directly to the credence table, or ascend the epistle side steps where customary. Altar server 1 goes to the credence table. Where it is customary, altar server 2 ascends the epistle side steps to the altar. There he receives the chalice veil from the priest, folds it in thirds, and lays it on the epistle side of the altar. Descend down the side steps and join altar server one at the credence table. The cruets are retrieved here. Hold the cruet so the handle faces the priest. Altar server one takes up the wine, altar server two takes up the water. As the priest approaches the side of the altar, bow and then ascend two steps. Silently kiss the handle of the cruet you are holding. The priest blesses the water unless it is a requiem mass. Bow to the altar, then descend back to the credence table. Altar server one sets the wine cruet back on its basin and picks up the finger towel. Altar server two picks up the water basin. Return in unison to the side steps. When the priest approaches, bow and again ascend two steps. As the priest reaches his hands out, place the water basin directly under his hands and pour water over his fingers. The priest will raise his fingers when he wants you to stop. Be careful not to touch his hands with the cruet. After the priest has dried his fingers, he will place the finger towel over altar server one's hands. Bow with the priest to the crucifix and return to the credence table. Altar server 2 returns the cruet lids. Altar server 1 picks up the bells, unless they are already at the corner steps. Return to the front steps, genuflect, then each return to the corners and kneel down. If there is only one server for mass, Kneel on the epistle side of the altar, opposite the book. Orate fratres. Depending on the priest, he may say this entire prayer out loud. In either case, the response is, Sushi piat dominus sacrificium de manibus tuis, ad laudem et gloriam nomini sui, ad uli tatum quoque nostrum, totiisque ecclesia sui sancte. The priest now reads the secret, which always ends with, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus fobiscum. Ecum spiritu tuo. Sursum corda. Habemus sa dominum. Gratias agamus domino Deo nostro. Dignum et justum est. Veri dignum et justum est, equum et salutare, nos tibi semper et ubique gratias agere, Domini Sancti Pater omnipotens eterne Deus, qui cum uni genito filio tuo et spiritu sancto unus est Deus, unus est Dominus, non in unius singularitate personae, sed in unius trinitati substantiae. Quod enum de tua gloria At the Sanctus, ring the bell three times. 
Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis celia terra gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus quibene. Make the sign of the cross with the priest at the Benedictus. The priest prays the canon silently. Remain kneeling. The priest places his hands over the host and chalice. This is your cue to ring the bells one time. Rise, move to the center, genuflect, and ascend to the highest step for the consecration. There, kneel down. Altar server one carries the bells with him. If there is only one server for Mass, kneel on the epistle side of the altar. When the priest bows for the consecration, bow where customary. When the consecration is complete, the priest genuflects. Ring the bell one time. Both altar servers elevate the chasuble at the elevation. Ring the bell one time while adoring our Lord, or three times here where customary. The priest again genuflects. Ring the bell one time. The priest now consecrates the wine. Your actions here are the same as they were for the consecration of the host. After the consecration, both altar servers rise, turn inward, and descend the front altar steps. Turn inward again, genuflect, go to the corners, and kneel down. If there is only one server for Mass, again kneel on the epistle side of the altar, opposite of the book. We'll now move on to the end of the canon. The priest will say the words, Nobis quoque peccatoribus. This is the last prayer of the canon. Towards the end of this prayer, the priest will genuflect, uncovering the chalice. After this is the minor elevation, where customary ring the bells when he lifts the chalice. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus preceptus salutaribus moniti et divina institutione formati audemus dicere. Pater noster qui es in celis, sanctificetum nomen tuum, adviniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quidiam. Towards the end of the Our Father, you will respond with the last line of the prayer without an Amen. Debitoribus nostris, et ne nos indicats in tentationem. Sed libera nos amalo.
per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini, sit semper vobiscum. Ecum Spiritu Tuo. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. After the Agnus Dei, the priest says a few prayers quietly, watch for when he genuflects. This is your cue to pick up the bells for the Domine non sum dignus. Domine non sum dignus. Domine non sum dignus. Domine non sum dignus. When the priest picks up his patent, where a communion cloth is used, both servers should attend to this now. After turning over the communion cloth, altar server 1 retrieves the patent for Holy Communion. Where a communion cloth is not used, altar server 1 waits until the priest consumes the precious blood before retrieving the patent for Holy Communion. After the priest consumes the precious blood, rise, move to the center, and genuflect. Altar server 2 remains standing while altar server 1 goes to the credence table. There he places the bells on the table and retrieves the patent for Holy Communion. Hold the patent upright in your right hand, being careful not to touch the gold. Rejoin altar server 2 at the foot of the altar. Genuflect, then ascend to the top step and kneel down for Holy Communion. The priest holds up the sacred host for all to see and adore. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolit peccata mundi. Domine non su dignus, ut in tres subtecta meum, se tantum dic verbo, et sinabitur anima mea. Domine non su dignus, ut in tres subtecta meum, se tantum dic verbo, et sinabitur anima mea. Domine non su dignus, ut in tres subtecta meum, Setantum dic verbo et sinabitur anima mea. The patent is now kept flat. Altar server 1 receives Holy Communion first. Hold the patent by the handle with your right hand and support it with your left hand from underneath. Hand the patent to altar server 2 who holds it the same way. Rise and descend the front altar steps. Altar server 1 genuflex goes to the side steps facing the gospel side of the sanctuary. If that is not possible, return to the epistle steps as shown here. Altar server 2 goes with the priest for communion of the faithful. At communion, stand on the priest's right hand side. Place the paten under the chin of the recipient. As the priest moves from person to person, move with him. After communion is over, hand the paten to the priest. Then return to the altar. Assist the priest in his ascent, then kneel down. If there is only one server for the Mass, kneel down on the epistle side of the altar opposite the book. Again, if a communion cloth is used, both servers should turn it back over at this time. The priest places the ciborium in the tabernacle. When you hear the tabernacle door close, Rise, move to the center, genuflect, and proceed to the credence table. There, remove the cruet lids and take the cruets to the side altar steps. Altar server 1 ascends to the priest with the wine. Altar server 2 remains at the base. 
the priest tips the chalice to the side, indicating he is ready for the wine. Pour the wine into the chalice until the priest raises the chalice. This is your signal to stop. Be very careful not to allow the cruet to touch the chalice. Altar server 1 descends one step, while altar server 2 ascends two steps. The priest comes to the corner of the altar with his fingers over the chalice. Altar server 1 pours a small amount of wine over his fingertips that acts like a soap. The priest moves to altar server 2. Pour water over the priest's fingers until he raises the chalice. Again, be very careful not to touch the priest's fingers with the cruet. Bow to the priest. Altar server 1 retrieves the patent. Place it and the cruet in their proper place at the credence table. Return to the center of the altar. This time, altar server 1 stands to the left of altar server 2. Genuflect. Then go around and ascend the side steps of the altar. Altar server 2 takes the chalice veil. Altar server 1 takes the missal and stand. Descend together down the front altar steps. Genuflect. Then return up the front steps. The book always takes precedence. Altar server 1 places the missal and stand on the epistle side and waits for altar server 2. Altar server 2 lays the chalice veil on the gospel side. Where customary, hold the burse open, being careful not to touch the corporal which the priest places inside of it. Hand the chalice veil to the priest. And again, where customary, hand the burse to the priest. Descend the side steps. Come together, genuflect, go to the corners and kneel. If there is only one server for Mass, move the missile and stand first, then the chalice veil if you have time. When you kneel down, kneel on the gospel side of the altar, once again, opposite the book. Penitentiam agente. Dominus Fobiscum. Ecum Spiritu Tuo. Oremus. Sancta Tua nos Domine Sumta Vivificent, et misericordiae sempiterneque preparante expiatos, per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum, we take on vivit et regnat in unitati spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Dominus Fobiscum. Ecum Spiritu Tuo. Ite Missa Est. Deo Gratias. Benedicat vos make the sign of the cross as the priest blesses you. Pater et filius et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Then rise for the last gospel. If there is only one altar server, genuflect at the center and move to the epistle side of the altar. Dominus Fobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Initium sancti evangelii secundum Ioannem. Gloria tibi domine. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erata pudeum, et Deus erat verbum. Hoc erat in principio pudeum. Omnia pripsum facta sunt, et sine ipsa factum est nihil quod factum est. In ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux hominum. Et lux in tenebris lucem, et tenebris in ane sanguinibus, neque es voluntati carnis, neque es voluntati viri, sed ex Deo nati sunt. Et verbum caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis. Et vidimus gloriam eus, gloriam quasi unigeniti a Patre plenum gratiae et veritatis. Deo gratias. If the priest brings the chalice with him, go get the beretta now. Otherwise, kneel and say the prayers with the priest. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Assist the priest in his ascent to the altar.
When the priest goes to get the chalice, retrieve the Beretta. Genuflect with the priest. Turn inwards and process out. Where customary, help the priest divest. After Mass, where it is customary, Altar Server 1 extinguishes the candles and clears the altar. First, remove the missile and stand, then remove the altar cards, or, where customary, fold down the altar cards and put the Vesperal on the altar.